Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to match your desktop and mobile menu bar with Divi. So let me show you how I managed to create this. For our tutorial today, we are going to be using some CSS code. So if you'd like to follow along, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. So you can use that CSS code in your designs. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by logging into our WordPress admin dashboard and then coming over here to our theme customizer. So I'm going to select theme customizer and then we're going to come over here to header navigation and go to our primary menu bar. So our menu height is going to be 30. Our logo max height is going to be 100 and this is fine here at 14 and our letter spacing is going to be minus one. And then for our font we're going to choose later light and it is right here. So now the next stage is to add some CSS code to make the mobile menu bar look the same way as the menu bar on your desktop. So in order for us to add our CSS code, we're going to come over here to, in fact, before I do that, I'm just going to save and publish. And then I'm going to go back a few steps and click on additional CSS. And this is where we need to add our CSS code. And as I mentioned before, this CSS code can be found on our post, which I'll link in the show notes below. So this option that I've chosen here to add the CSS code applies the CSS code to the entire website. So if you'd like to add the CSS code on a particular page, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just going to come over here, click on Save and Publish, and then we're going to uh, log out of here, find our page. So I'm going to click on All Pages, click on this Coming Soon, because this, that's our front page. But obviously, uh, you can use any page as your main page. So I'm going to click on Edit, and then I'm going to go into my Visual Builder. Right, so if you'd like to add the code on this particular page, all you have to do is come all the way down here to, to expand settings. Click on this gear icon because this is the icon that enables us to go into the page settings. Click the advanced tab and add your custom CSS. So this is where you would paste your custom CSS. So what happens now is whatever styling that happens, it only happens on this particular page. But throughout the whole website, it will be different. Okay, so you've got those options. And there's also one more place where you can add your CSS code. And let me show you that one more time. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to close out of this and exit my Visual Builder. Right, so we're going to go back into our dashboard. And then we're going to come over here to DV and then click on Theme Options. And then if you scroll all the way down here to the bottom where we, where, where we have this custom CSS, this is where you'd like, this is where you want to add your CSS code. Okay, so now it's time to test and see if our menu is working. So what I'm going to do is I'll be cycling through these three different views. So this one is the desktop view, tablet view, and mobile device. So right now we can see our logo is showing and our navigation is fine. So the goal obviously is to make sure that all this matches throughout the devices. So I'm going to click my next one, which is my tablet view, and we can see here that it's consistent. And then finally, I'm going to click on my mobile device. So Right there, we can see that it's all consistent. So definitely it all works. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.